Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to do a short video and share something with you that I use a lot in my cooking. And it is my own Cajun seasoning blend. This is a very simple recipe that I believe puts all of the store-bought seasonings to shame. I know you have a ton of choices to pick from when you're going to the store and looking for uh, a seasoned salt or an a Cajun seasoning or all-purpose seasoning or whatever. But what I found over the years is they're all either too salty, too hot, or they're too heavy on one spice or another. And if you use too much of these things, they will ruin the food you're cooking. So I wanted to find something that would enhance the flavor of food without dominating it. And I really think that I did it with, with this seasoning blend. And th this has eight ingredients. It contains salt, paprika, black pepper, garlic, onion, chili powder, red pepper, and MSG. I know a lot of people either don't want to eat MSG or can't eat MSG, and that's fine. You can leave that out. I've made it several times without the MSG, and it's still a really good seasoning. So the MSG is not a critical component. It's just something that I add in there because it, it adds a little bit extra. And all I do is I take these ingredients, I put them in that Rubbermaid container with the lid, I shake them up really good, and then I pour it either into a salt shaker or you see the container there of onion powder. You can pull the label off of that and use that for your seasoning. Um, but I think if you give this seasoning a try, you'll really enjoy it and you'll see how it can enhance your food's flavor without being dominating in any way. And I don't use any of the expensive ingredients. Some of these spices cost three, four, five dollars a bottle for these premium brands. I don't use any of that. I use the cheap ones that are either a dollar per bottle or two for a dollar, depending on where you're at, and they work perfectly fine. So if you're looking for a good seasoning that's not gonna ruin your food and it's just gonna enhance the flavor, give this a try and I'll put up the ingredient list and the proportions at the end of the video and hopefully you'll give it a try and if you like it leave me a comment if you don't like it leave me a comment let me know and you're all you can always adjust this recipe if you want if you for some reason find it's too garlicky or whatever you can simply leave out a little bit of garlic but you can totally adjust it to your taste but I know that for friends and family they love this recipe and I've had nothing but positive feedback on it. So give it a try and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.